Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Squidhead Joe, and here on the channel, I try to do product reviews for those who are content creators and those who are looking to upgrade their setups, or maybe they're on a budget. With that being said, Fine Fine sent this microphone out for a review, but they do not see it before it goes live, nor do they have any sway on my opinions. My opinions are my own. They did not pay me for an interview. They just wanted me to let you guys know about this microphone. <music> Now, Fine Fine is saying straight out of the box that this is a plug and play microphone. You don't need additional plugins. And it also comes with the microphone boom arm that can clamp to a desk that's no more than two inches thick. This microphone is also compatible with Windows, PS4, and PS5. It's also compatible with Mac, but keep in mind that if your MacBook only has a USB type C input, you will need a USB C to USB A adapter for that Mac. All right, so before we get to the actual sound test, of the microphone. I wanted to go over the components that you can find in the box um, if you do decide to order this yourself. Now keep in mind that overall for this version of the microphone, the blue version, the red version, and the pink version, if you order it on Amazon, at least for me, after calculating it, um, would have been $63. Uh, for the actual microphones itself, they're $55. For the black version only, it's $52. So keeping that in mind and keeping that price point in mind, we're going to talk about this microphone boom arm clamp. Um, I think that for this package right here, I'll pay $10 for maybe 15, depending. Um, and it's just like the overall quality. It comes with the microphone adapter for your shock mount, um, the microphone boom arm, overall the quality, the tension on the actual arms itself, what it's made out of. It actually feels like it's a budget one, but it's actually on the heavier, dutier end of the budget uh, option. Um, so it's not like the $5 ones that you find or anything less than $10 that you would find on Amazon. This is a, actually a nice including one. It's like they didn't cut corners on the microphone boom arm as well as the clamp because it actually has one of these sliding balls. And usually these um, are for if you're in a tight spot and maybe you can't fully go around in a circle, you can adjust your tightness or looseness by sliding this mechanism back and forth Let's talk about the USB-C type, uh, type C cable. Usually companies, when they send you USB cables, they're super short. Um, they're not really that long, maybe six foot if you're lucky. Again, this one's like 8.3 um, feet. On cables such as a microphone cable to plug into your computer that you need to route through a cable channel or something like that, having longer ones and not just ones that are this long, like you can't beat this. So again, a winning passing grade for, for me on this. Now this windscreen pop filter, whatever you want to call it, uh, there's a lot of names for these type of things, but it's a it's a pretty much a guards from a plosive. So if you're talking um, and you're saying a lot of P's, a lot of T's, stuff like that, um, it's supposed to disperse that and uh, not be so harsh on the other part on the person's ears on the other end. Um, I think the build quality is actually really really good. I think that this middle part, the actual mesh. Um, is built uh, fairly, fairly tough, and it's actually um, not like flexible. It's actually taut to the actual um, to the actual frame, which a lot of people don't account for when they uh, see stuff like this or they get stuff like this for a microphone. So just keep that in mind. Um, but again, overall build quality of it is good. I don't really not a fan of the smiley face in the front, especially since it doesn't match the colors of whatever microphone you're getting. Um, it's this smiley face, but it's not as, as pronounced. Whereas, um, again, I would have liked it to match the colors of the microphones, just like the microphone boom arms. I feel like if I got a white microphone, the microphone boom arms, the smiley face should be, you know, color coordinated. Because again, if you're getting stuff aesthetically, like that's white, you know, blue, whatever, you're obviously trying to fit into an actual aesthetic of your room or maybe your gaming desk, office, whatever. Um, and not having a microphone boom arm that's white and not keeping the smiley face white kind of throws off the aesthetic because maybe if I'm going for a white and gray, again, you have this uh, grills that are not white, they're black. And I understand you have RGB on the other side, but again, you're going for aesthetics. I feel like this windscreen could have been white, no smiley face. This could have been white because RGB actually bounces off of white surfaces 
um, better than black. Um, so it's just, again, but you can't really expect too much for this price point because you're talking about the actual audio quality of this microphone. Interested in compared to other microphones, I would be comparing it to the Wave 1 from Elgato, the MV7X from Shure, as well as the Movo VSM5. Um, both of the Movo and the Shure obviously are XLR microphones. The Wave 1, I feel like, is the most compatible um, testing this microphone against because of the software that you get with the Wave 1. And if you're going into content creation and you need sub mixes for whatever reason, I highly recommend the Wave 1. But what this microphone is marketed towards as far as just for gaming, invoice game, uh, chat, uh, Discord uh, chat, you know, maybe some regular voiceovers um, for videos like this where you're unboxing stuff or something like that. This microphone can get you that, um, especially with third party programs being able to uh, add noise suppression um, or cut out room echo, stuff like that. How crisp and clear you actually sound on this microphone, I 100, 100% recommend it. Um, I know a lot of people don't like listening to people uh, who do product reviews because, you know, they get the products from the companies and stuff like that. But I am telling you, this is actually worth the money, worth the cost. So if you have like a child or a friend who has maybe a bad microphone or somebody you know whose in-game microphone does not sound the best, again, maybe they're using an old headset or you know, I, I don't know, a webcam mic or something, uh, I would highly recommend this and just be like, hey, get whatever color you want for your aesthetic for your room um, and go ahead and just give it a try because you're not gonna be let down with this microphone. Man, these budget USB mics have come a long way. Here's that sound test. All right, so here's the Fine Fine A6T, about 50% gain on it and with the fan on level one. And here it is on with the fan on level two. As you can hear, the fan is probably picking up a little bit more uh, in the microphone itself since it's directly towards me. And here is the microphone with the fan blowing towards me on level three, the highest setting for this current fan um, with the DB again, still set at 50%. So there you go. And here what it sounds like with the fan off with just ambient noise in the room obviously i have two pcs as well with fans going and stuff but this is how it would sound like i guess if you have a computer nearby and you're just in an ambient room um with just subtle noises going on in the background so here's the wave one microphone from elgato with the db set to 20 because it only goes up to 40 on this microphone and with no audio effects so you know that this is just raw audio this is how the microphone sounds straight out the gate um, and now this is what it sounds like with a level three fan in the background i would like to take this opportunity to, even though you probably can't hear me with the fan on that uh i do stream over on twitch so if you're interested in that there will be a link in the description and if you're liking this video so far give me a thumbs up or leave a comment down below what you think of these microphones let's go ahead and turn this down to two all right, so now the fan is on two. Again, everything is still the same, no audio changes. And if, again, if you didn't hear me the first time, I do stream over on Twitch. There's a link in the description so you can come and talk to me live and give my thoughts, opinions on uh, anything uh, for content creation or gaming, setup ideas, products that I use, or if you're interested in any of the products that I have already covered in the past, there will be a playlist that you can find on the channel for product reviews. Um, let's go ahead and turn this down to one on this lowest setting and again i stream over on twitch there's a link in the description <laughs> let me stop <laughs> but this is what you get uh with the wave one uh on fan level one and the db set again to 50 percent and uh no audio effects in the background let's switch over to the xlr microphones all right so this is the sure mv7 x microphone which is just the xlr microphone is a dynamic microphone so which means that you talk directly to the microphone but it rejects sound from all over the microphone and it's set to 37 db because the highest it goes to is 75 db so again that's half 
and uh, we have no audio effects, as you can see. So this is just strictly just the fan, uh, the microphone itself, raw audio, and this is with fan turned on to one. This is how it rejects the audio from the fan on one. And this is the Shure MV7X, obviously with the fan blowing in the background on level two. And this is with the MV7X with the fan turned on max or level three. And this is how it sounds. All right, so this is the Movo VSM5 uh, with the DB set again to 37 because that's the 50% of 75. This is what it sounds like with no audio effects at all, just clear, crisp, raw audio. This is max fan volume. And let's go ahead and turn it over to fan volume two. All right, this is what the Movo mic sounds. This is my personal favorite microphone that I own as far as the audio uh, quality sound and uh, with actual audio effects in place on it itself. But this is my favorite go-to microphone for my streaming. This is the quality, I guess, with the, the fan on one. Again, no audio effects added to the audio at all. And uh, yeah, this is what you pretty much get. All right, so without out the way, there's one more thing I want to try with the Fine Fine A6T, and that is using NVIDIA Broadcast to actually change the kind of sound that we're getting with the Fine Fine microphone. So this is what the microphone sounds like with the NVIDIA Broadcast software um, with the noise removal and the room echo on the microphone itself set at about 50% uh, dB. And with the fan on blast, it's kind of interesting to see how this microphone, I guess, uh, picks up uh, the audio with the fan again background with the NVIDIA broadcast working. And you could use this in conjunction, obviously, with the NVIDIA broadcast while you're playing games. And maybe it's hot in your room. Maybe you need the air condition on blast or you got a lot of going on. And maybe you're typing really loud and, you know, you got a fan going, people in the background. This actually would isolate. And this is a perfect microphone for NVIDIA broadcast. <laughs> you can't really beat this this microphone um, for this price point and the audio quality that you get in video games like Apex. I play it uh, kind of often now and there's a lot of times where you know we get into a match and we need to go over comms and my teammates got their microphone turned up all the way it's like a old old headset maybe like a 20 dollars microphone or something like that it sounds really bad whereas this obviously sounds good it sounds way better than that my only complaints with this microphone itself i kind of wished it was a tactile click or at least numbers on the bottom of the knob having the physical number knowing what level of gain that you have on your microphone is would be helpful. I wish that there was a software to have a certain color scheme of RGB. I don't know at this point if there's a way to uh, control the RGB to only have like two colors showing. If I could, you know, change up the RGB somehow um, to make it fit myself, that would be even cooler. Um, and also, I kind of wish that there was an XLR version of this microphone. I think this would pair uh, greatly with the PC Panel Pro. It is $100, but you get an audio interface like this where you have physical sliders and knobs and you can control the actual um, volume of your program. So like maybe you need to, maybe you're in a game and you need to turn down, you know, your Spotify real quick or your music program, or maybe the game volume or something like that. You can do that with this PC Panel Pro. And again, this is a hundred dollars um, for this price point and this quality, I highly recommend this. And this will beat out a lot of microphones that I see that people get because somebody else tells them to get it or wherever, and they're paying above a hundred dollars when this microphone is this good at this quality for this price knocked it out of the park with this microphone so my overall thoughts on this microphone i would give it a four out of five stars four out of five stars a hundred percent when i do a review i kind of like to do the ins and outs the goods the bads um, even though fine fine sent it, uh, this out to me i still wanted to give my honest opinion and honest review as much as i can so with that being said hopefully you guys have a squid day thank you guys for stopping by and i'll catch you guys in the next one deuces everybody